Hey uh, fellas, it's Raptor Jesus here, and we're getting back to uh, my dungeon tiles I made last uh, time, you know, a couple weeks ago, I guess. And I uh, base coated them with some uh, gray primer spray paint. Excuse my hand. <laughs> I always got a, a craft with my knife ready. You never know when the, something nefarious is going to happen. And so I'm using this like sponge technique with a, a white. Kind of gets like a little bit of a more realistic stone texture on there. I gotta get some better lighting, I guess. <laughs> and that's the the base room done and painted. Remember that this base room, this is like a, essentially what takes a turn for players to search. And I also got these corner and hallway pieces. This kind of makes up like the base of my my dungeon tile set. Uh, so I'm painting the, the wood here with this uh, technique I learned from DM Scotty. It's a pretty good, big popular crafting YouTuber, but you use uh, uh, two kind of shades of brown in order to give a wood effect. And you get this nice and like uh, painted on. And while it's still wet, We'll apply this uh, this second coat. And I'm doing the, the same kind of technique with uh, my door here. Kind of give it the effect that it's wood, even though you know, it's just some foam. I did also draw the same kind of thing on uh, the foam core with some pen. You see what I mean? Using a darker coat of paint to kind of give it the plank look. Turns out pretty well actually. Kind of looks like a door, right? And this I'm using a kind of a beige tannish color. So that the, the walls and the floor kind of have a, a different color, but still somewhat familiar since they're both starting off from a gray coat, which a gray coat's good to use. Most people like to use a, a black uh, base coat, but I think it makes things way too dark. And so you could start with a white coat if you wanted your terrain to look really bright. Uh, so I kind of choose gray as like the middle ground. So I don't want it too dark. You know, sometimes you might want a really dark dungeon tile, especially if you want a certain, like, invoke a certain feel. You want a lot of more deeper shadows. But I think we paint things uh, way too dark sometimes. It's good to have a little lightness in your dark fantasy. You know what I mean, fellas? I'm starting off with a kind of a white, really, really light gray. I rub off the excess a little bit to kind of like give that top area a much lighter tone, and so that the darker areas are a darker gray, not really a, a black shade.
you don't have to go to much uh, trouble making all these dry brushes and, and everything. I think the end result is fun. Only took me about oh, a, a day or so to fully paint everything. Didn't take too long, it ends up a really nice result. Uh, see, I forgot to, to paint the bottom of that uh, black. So that's what I do right here. I, I paint the bottom of these darker after setting down on all my different paint trays and stuff. It just makes it look nicer. And it also seals it up. Uh, it gives it another extra layer of protection that you want on that bottom. You know, the glue will warp it, of course. And so this is after I did use the black wash, which is just a mixture of black paint, white glue, and a little bit of dish soap. It just gives it a little bit of a darker recess area. See, this is what I was talking about when we make things too dark, because I already use a black wash, so I don't really need to start with such a Alright, I guess that's the rest of the video, fellas. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you like my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe. I hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, alright?